Kevin. <laughs> and Christy. Ta-da! And Lyndon. And Lyndon! <laughs> and the pressure canner. And the tortilla press because it's Friday night. And we are making cheeseburger tacos. We are. Quiet over there! And it's live, and we've never done a live cooking video, so I'm kind of afraid it's going to be a disaster, and I'll apologize for that up front. Yeah, you concur? Yeah. We're going to agree, so it's going to be a disaster. Um, <laughs> Maybe. So, Kevin is really good at, like, making things happen while other things are going on. Like, when we have guests, he can cook a full meal and I when I have other things going on like when I have people in front of me I just need to focus on the people and I can't I can't do anything when there's anybody extra in my house so he is gonna make sure that this happens so, so without we're further ado start. we're gonna start by making tortillas which we've made a bunch of them already and if I'm being totally honest we actually made them all re they're all right here up because so, we wanted to show you how the tortilla press works yeah, yeah. and the problem that we ran into. The recipe is in the comments below for both the tortillas and the cheeseburger salad. So push. No, cheeseburger tacos, sorry. So just give it a good, good old fashioned squish. Harbor, yeah. Harbor usually is our tortilla person. She actually made these a little bit earlier today and then she decided that she wasn't gonna feel 100%. So. She is not going to join us this evening. So what we found is that these are too thick, so we just continue to roll them out. So wait, you can get it thinner in this. Yes, I do it about four or five times. To yes. Make it as thin as I can. But it needs to be rolled out anyway. Okay. So voila. All right, let's get to going on the comments. So well, hold on. I, are, you, are you gonna are you gonna finish this? So and tell them. With the first few tortillas. The first 20? Yeah. I was cooking them way too much because I thought that it was going to be too raw because I was cooking them too less. But less. apparently less is more and more is way too more. So it's gooder if you do less. So you cook them for about 20 to 30 seconds, flip, and then eat. Mom. Which is what the instructions say and yeah. I asked Lennon to read the instructions and he's like, I've read like five or okay. six times. Okay, so hold on, let's like 20 or 30 seconds. Let's... Yes, it's not, I'm still counting. I'm still counting. 84. Um, 84. I'm curious if anyone what? has had cheeseburger tacos because they have become amazing in our house. Why don't you can scooch over here? Wild Mountain oh, Rose has joined us. Comments? Good evening. Good evening. Do you want me to do the comments, Mom? Um, well, so what I'm going to do, as soon as Kevin talks a little bit more about the cheeseburger tacos, we're going to discuss the um, comments from previous videos. So, since I'm not going through and like manually answering them, I figured that it would be a perfect thing to do while we're cooking, because cooking takes time and there's downtime. And Huh. So I figured it'd be good, right? There's, there's no downtime. There's, well, okay. Fresh out of the stove. There's, there's lots. Okay. So, okay. so tortilla so, is done. done. So these are going to be a little stiff. I think we need to get like a tortilla. No, I think you just need to use all purpose no. flour. No. no. Okay. Talk about these. So we got burger patties you for them. These here. are half pound burger patties. Normally I do like three quarter pound, whatever pound. I just like them really big and chunky and thick because we're doing like a chop style burger. Um, so we're gonna cook this on a big flat griddle outside and it's gonna be awesome. We're in Colorado and Colorado just got dumped on. With, with lots of snow. Like, how many inches do we have? Uh, about two and a half feet. About 30, maybe ish, inches of snow. If you don't believe me, I will show you. So, um, we, we had a contest, and the lowest, oh, yours was the lowest. You guys, six 
in his living, but my man. He, but he there's a place where I was like right here to me, right, right oh here. Oh my goodness, yeah. that's insane. I tripped and my fish fell right into it. And we also did a contest of running up hills and then down, and then like the same person go up the hill and then they come back down on slides. And that was Aiden times me and Brendan times Elias. And I and then I go on the right, the neighbors go on the left, the trails already made. And then Elias and I to make our own, but Elias did not make it so he cheated and followed my trail. My trail. Okay. So he could get up before I could. And then but I still got my gas first and then so you guys have like a relay race in the deep stuff. Mm -hmm. And that man on the bottom like I want you to say what you're doing. doing. I think people know what I'm doing. I'm cracking pepper. So I put a uh, I just put a little bit of avocado oil on them. It really helps the seasoning stick. People call it a binder, a sticker, whatever. Uh, salt and pepper. Hold on. I want to show how much salt. Because I think some people some people what? Use a little bit less salt than what we have become accustomed to. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, I got garlic. Now the garlic's where the magic happens. Gets them all nice and spicy. Shameless plug. Huh? What? What? I didn't put that one in the description. No. Alright, two sides of a burger. Flip and repeat. Flip and repeat. Flip and repeat. Flip and repeat. So, you didn't mix anything in there. You just basically... Nope. Season the outside. No, you took, you took the ground beef that was in a cube. No, a square. A cute, like a Whatever. flat cube, and you. This is dying. Cut it into. You want me to go get some more pepper corns? No, it's not. It's empty. It's dying. Oh. You oh. cut. I cut them into half pound patties, and I formed them into this nice, round, thick deliciousness. Oh, mom, can and I? Linda, quiet. I think that our. Recipe actually calls for three pounds of ground beef. Yes, this is four pounds because our boys are getting bigger and they're eating more. And honestly, we could probably do five pounds, but I only pulled out six pounds of ground beef earlier and we used two pounds for nachos. So, yeah. All right, if you're probably wondering why there's so much seasoning on the pan, huh, yeah. there's, a, there's a trade secret. I'll show you what that is all about here in a minute. Yeah. Lane, get out of your mouth seat. You're fine. You're good. Why don't, why don't you, uh, why don't you help do some cleaning? There's these outside edges of the burger. You roll it up like a snowball. I'm going to use water. That's okay. I will talk louder. Talk louder. Louder, 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 louder. So, you pulled it up. You can put it in time out. Oh. So, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> you can put people in time out for up to 24 hours. That's interesting. All right, those are ready. That gets no soap. Cast iron gets no soap. It's just, it's just hot water. Uh -huh. okay. So the reason why we are making the cheeseburger tacos is we did a vote in the, um, the community page. So I did a post and we mentioned that we were going to be doing a cooking video and asked what people wanted to see and I think our choices were cheeseburger tacos, lasagna soup, hold on just one second, lasagna and cottage pie. Cottage pie actually was like last, which maybe 
people don't know that that's shepherd's pie. That might be, that might be part of it. Lasagna soup was in a very close second, so we might do that one again. Sometimes too. Right. Hold on, me. let me, hold on. Follow me. Mm, I need to turn this around. How do I turn it around? Oh, there we go. All right. Let, Zayna, let go, please. Let go. Here is the snow. You can see the Weber there. All right. Talk about that. Oil on. But what are you putting it on? I'm putting it on a little griddle. Yes. It's just a flat griddle. Because I have a little grill and I needed a little griddle. It's honestly really cool. You can cook just about anything on it. Burgers on. Burgers on. On. Ah. Five days till winter. Going out in style. Five days left of winter. Did I say till winter? Yes. Oh. Yeah, winter's coming. Look at this. It's beautiful. Move it, you. Look at the snow up there. Okay. Move it, you. Okay, so the goal was high heat, thick burger, crusty. And what we'll do is we'll let that cook for a couple minutes and then flip it, let that cook for a couple minutes, and then we'll chop it up and season it again. That's why we don't season it inside, because I like seasoning it while you're cooking it, because just the flavor really pops. Uh, and then we'll top with some cheese, because it's cheeseburger tacos. This is not good. Right, try again. What's up? No. Zayden Matthew. You, buddy. All right, now be quiet. All right, so comment number one. Well, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure that we're going. Wait, where can I do? Shh. Do you want to start here? Talk to Grayson. Yes, that's a good one. All right, so we're gonna like like on this video. Yep. On okay. Video. So yep. we're gonna go back to the video we did. Thirteen weeks days ago, ago. 13 it was days the ago. Costco fill-in large family, almost. $1, what we $1. it's what we don't buy from Azure Standard. Shh. No. For now, um, because we do buy stuff from Costco and Natural Grocers. Do you need something? Um, yes. What? Can I do something to you? No, thank you. I spent it all. You get to watch the children a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll take Jolene. Okay, I'm sorry. I tried. That's okay. Oh, all right. Zayden, you're going to be kicked out of the kitchen. You can't see here. I'm gonna get off the counter. She's supposed to, like she needs paper change. Oh. Are you saying he's upstairs? Maybe. Okay. Shh. So let's let's get to some of these comments. All right. Comment number one. Scroll. Scroll. All right. Picked up my first Azure haul today. It was raining a bit. Found myself really enjoying helping everybody as we unloaded. Perhaps. It was the newness of it, but I had a great time. Your videos are a big reason why I got excited to try Azure. I have spreadsheets similar to how you do and have just learned a lot from your videos. Glad to hear. I will be here when you post new videos, but do miss the edited videos for one big reason. I understand how difficult editing is. And your point about live being more authentic is true, but the thing I love about your hauls that they were edited is that it made them different from everyone else's hauls. Coming to your channel and seeing the haul was an event. You would have tips woven in, you would be in the kitchen cooking and showing what you made with the items you ordered, and you even shared things like balms and tinctures. It was just so different, I love those. But again, I'm still watching your live videos. It will continue to be here for what you upload. I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate the hard work you put in the edited versions. 
and thought they were so unique and fun. Thank you so much for the awesome, constructive feedback. We love the edited videos. We have not said. enough. <laughs> because if we love them enough, we would do them. No, we love them. They just okay. Those videos. They take a lot of. Can you can I talk just for a minute? Yeah. I'm gonna go flip burgers. <laughs> So, you should probably show that. No, I don't want to show it. They want to see it when it's getting the chalk. The so chalk. That. So, we love, like, that is what we want our videos to be. Um, but the problem is that they take about four hours to plan and then another probably four hours to collect additional video footage and then four to eight hours to edit and so we just sometimes double all of that after jolene yeah sometimes double all of it is so true and then the like just the uploading and everything um and so right now after having Jolene, we kind of, I'm sorry, Zazu is screaming, and you're not going to get that edited out like we try to do most of the time. Um, anyway, between Jolene and Kevin's work schedule and other things that we have going on, we just, we can't do that right now. And so... That is why we're at least trying to make an effort with the live videos. They're not ideal, I don't think, because I personally, if I'm going to watch a video, I really like that short, condensed, um, some of them weren't condensed, they were really long, but at least they were, they were, they were jam-packed with a lot of information. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. If we get to the point where we can hire some help to do a lot of that, like the editing and the um, posting of the, like the finalization and all of that, then eventually we would love to bring those back. So that's just where we're at right now. We have another comment here that says unedited is fine. It's actually entertaining. Thank you for sharing. I still need to figure out locking in Azure pricing. So I think that I've actually seen this a few times. We do have a video that tells you how to get sales pricing for multiple months. Um, just You just do a search on our channel. I totally did it. This. And Ugh. we're also canning beef stew, so. And it was going too fast and then I turned it down. Yeah. So, um, the way, I'll give you a really quick rundown. The way that you secure pricing, you want to do it? Um, no. But Cheyenne just joined us a little bit ago. Hi, Cheyenne. And Where did you see that? On my phone. Oh. <laughs> and she said, are we going to do a dressing back? That's another thing that I really want to do. There is a recipe pack in the back burner. Put on very low, low heat. But there's so many projects. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'll be totally honest. The like. Just, just I, I don't know. Yeah. I it, don't. It, 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 yeah. It's it's someday. Someday maybe. But uh, secure check out in advance for multiple months. Secure the pricing. Um, that's all that I know. So but, all that you do is you check out. Like you you. So you, final, you finalize the order, and then it will not actually finalize until Azure closes your order. You cannot close it. It happens at your cutoff day and time. This only works for if you're getting the orders delivered, and that's it. And then once it, that is like finalized, or yes, once that is checked out, then you just do it again. You say new order. Because you can have multiple orders open. For example, the other day, here's a tip that I have never shared. <laughs> I 
At least I don't think. Not intentionally. Make it quick because I gotta do the chop. You can um the pressure. Come on! You can have a jure item shipped to you. And the other day yeah, we about. needed some herbs that we wanted to get before our delivery. And so we placed an order and we got it delivered. Grazers, pepper jack. Is our favorite. That's our favorite. I, it's been a long stay. It's been like a 10 year favorite. Yeah. All right, let's go. I got the camera. You're coming with me. Babe, you got it? I got this. I no, got you this. don't. I got this. Watch this. Here we go. Here. The chop. The chop. Ah, my arm just got longer. Okay. I flipped them a few minutes ago. I'm going to chop now. We're going to open up these guys. It's super raw down in the middle still. And that's what we want. Oh, that wind is so cold. I love grilling in the winter time because the grill is warm and the air is cold and it's a tornado of emotions. And all of that delicious smell is coming right at you. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to snuggle up next to cheeseburger with you later. Lyndon, bring me the salt and pepper. At this point, you can add more oil if you want. Totally up to you. Crack a lacka. Come on, Craig. A little bit of, little bit of this action. A little bit of that. And close. <laughs> Choo-choo! You know you're a Colorado dad when you wear shorts and snow boots. I usually go there for after That's why I said dad. I said Colorado. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Alright, Polish Homeschool says, wait, how did you do it? That may be a good way to get the butter finally. Alright, hang on a jiggle. Oh, so the one thing that you do want to pay attention to. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When you are ordering for delivery, I don't know exactly where it is. You change, it's in the same place where if you would change what drop you picked it up at, it has the option for shipping. No, I probably turned it up. And the, the trick is to pay attention to the delivery because when we ordered herbs and stuff, actually, I also ordered a 50, or a 50 pound bag of, no, 25 pound bag of real salt in that order. And it was not significantly more to add that. So I just paid attention to like, what is the shipping price if I get this? And what is the shipping price if I add this? So I don't think it's a weight thing, but the butter needs to be refrigerated, but it's cold, so I have no idea. I don't know. Play around with it, because I'm not sure. Um, let's see here. Homestead McCoy says, I don't, or I usually don't catch a live, but I'm fine watching the replay. I appreciate how you tell us. Hold on, just see. What you're going to do with the items, such as the meals you're going to make with them, the fish, etc. It gives me ideas and how to use products in a different way, which helps prevent food boredom. Ooh. I also appreciate how you tell us about the prices and why you've chosen to buy here or there. Thank you for sharing. So You're welcome. That gives that makes me wonder if there's anything else that we can do to help with that. Like, how can we best serve you in a way that isn't going to take too much time and effort? So I, I thought about maybe sharing our meal plan. Like I can post our meal plan in the community page or I can email it when I do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm not impatient. I don't have a hot date. I'm checking my jiggler with my stopwatch. <laughs> but it is time to do cheese. Okay, so we're going to go back out to the grill. We might get to less comments than I thought. Don't need no sliced cheese from the store. That's an item that you don't need to buy. Slice your own cheese. Buy it in bulk. When it's on sale, you save money. Save money on your groceries. 
limit the amount of skews you buy. You have to buy all that pre-made stuff. I was cutting the cheese, literally, um, while Christy was talking to you, and you guys didn't even know it. It's been pretty good the last three minutes. It's been one to three jiggles. So for anybody who pressure cans, you know what he's talking about. If you don't pressure can, we're looking for four jiggles in a minute. and One to four. It is, yeah, one to four. And it's, <laughs> it's jiggling a little much. Yeah, it's starting to jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. All right, so now oh, I'm going to put my stopwatch back on. I actually want to put these last few pieces on. You don't need all of me. Okay. Sorry for that jiggle. Yeah, that's a Oh, okay. Becca says she's totally down with no editing. We really appreciate that, Becca. Um, this person says, I no longer buy canned goods from Azure. I get all my organic canned goods from Walmart, except for potatoes. I do not buy any produce from Azure. I still buy frozen fruits and veggies from Azure because the quality is miles above Costco. Ooh. So that makes me think that we need to probably do a side-by-side -side yeah. comparison. No, a frozen. Yeah, the frozen. Right, frozen. Yeah, not canned. I'm canning. Um, Coming. Hey, it's in Pachikstan someday. So we still really like the, a lot of the produce. The one item that I'm noticing that I really want it to be better, and maybe I should buy it in bulk, is the green peppers. If I don't use those right away, they go bad quick. So if you bought them in bulk, they'd probably... But I would, but I would do the, the freeze thing. Oh, okay. okay, so I'm going to pull the back burgers off because those are hotter. You don't need to follow them. Okay. Um, so the reason why I, like, I'm not reading all of these names because they're usually like, this says first, last, dash J S five Y W. I wish we had names instead of YouTube handles because it would just be so much easier. But anyway, first last J S five Y W. Yeah, you know that is delicious. Says love your family. Family, and I look forward to seeing your grocery haul. It's very inspiring. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Sarah says, grilling is totally a lifestyle. We did it year-round in Canada. Snow and all makes you tough. <laughs> There's one video we did years ago of making cheeseburger salad. It was in the middle of a snowstorm. No, thank you. And I opened up the grill, and like this huge thing of snow just came with, like, a fountain of snow, like right on me, and I'm just like, ah, I can't move. It's just a <laughs> blizzard, and the grill was open. And I was trying to cook, and I'm like, ah, I'm not moving. Why am I not moving? <laughs> That's special. We'll push that. Okay. All right, 30 seconds on the front burgers, because these are a little overcooked. We like our burgers. More medium rare. More bloody-ish, yeah. So Becca said, do you want, wait, do you want me to come and follow you? No, nope, it's fine. Okay. Becca says, you might like the Azure peanut butter. Azure carries called CB's Nuts Peanut Butter. Cremunchy. They have organic in this brand, but it's significantly more expensive. But what makes it cool is that it's natural and doesn't need to be refrigerated. So thank you so much for that suggestion, Becca. I've, I've priced price compared peanut butter and I think our favorite is to just make our own and it may not be economical it's not the most economical round two but yeah. it is delicious Play. so and when we don't the um I would say that the Costco peanut butter is Sufficient. Yeah. Um, but if we get to the point, I'm curious if you've tried the Azure brand peanut butter. 
because I know they have a new brand. And maybe we'll have to do a peanut butter comparison, actually. Mm. It's okay. It's really, really, really good. Okay, Bookish Home School says, I'm in Arizona, and suddenly I can't get red peppers anymore, even though I've gotten them so many times. It's because we buy them all. That is so not true, because we have not bought them. Because we were buying them all, and we have a decent stock. So when you do buy them, I'm thankful for a decent stock. When you do buy them, buy them in bulk and then just freeze them. And what we do is we predominantly uh, slice them, but you can dice them as well. So this says obviously diced peppers, three cups um, from three, three, twenty-four. But that's not three cups. It says three. That's not, there's no... Oh, it might be three peppers. Yes, it's not yeah. three peppers. Anyway, um, don't defrost but them. But write the quantity, or write the like amount of peppers, or how many cups are on the bag, or just freeze them in quantities that you are going to use in the recipe. Okay, when nobody was looking, I sauteed onions earlier, so we got that as a special treat, too. That was nice of you. When did you do that? Earlier? Earlier today. Like, oh, got it. Earlier today. All right. This person says, please use a tripod. I'm getting nauseous with the shakiness. Lives are fine. Just keep showing up on YouTube. So. We heard you. We're, well, there's still, like, unfortunately, we still have to move the camera. And it's kind of a trade-off because when we use a tripod, your, it's the audio, audio, it can be an issue. So we might be yelling, and I don't know, this might be really Jimmy up the audio. I hope not. This was supposed to be done yesterday. It's not like we we're... We intended on it going in the background. It's not like we're like, hey, check us out. We're we're canning. Uh, I dropped the ball yesterday and didn't do what I was supposed to. All right, let's make a cheeseburger taco. We didn't cover these. No, we didn't. Normally, in the past, we've used just the store-bought street tacos. If this works and is amazing, no, we've, been, we've done this. We did it one other time, and I didn't. I was not crazy about it. So I voted it's, it's, that it's, it's, it's they crap. work, but I think that Harbor needs to make the tortillas. Like, because that's the thing is that we did make these beforehand, and coordinating the food in the video. And Carver not here to help. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. Made it a little bit more complicated. One job, Harbor. What's wrong with you? All right, so, can you see? Can you see me? Um, I don't know. Let me look. Yes. Let me see. All right, we're set that over there. Set this over there. Set this over there. All right, so you take a slice of meat. Oh, it's juicy and delicious looking. Curve that back up. You don't want anybody getting cold. And then you take these uh, sautéed onions. You pile those on. I normally do shredded lettuce, but when we processed our lettuce the other day, we didn't do any shredded lettuce. So all we have is this big chunky stuff, which I could probably shred up real quick. So I was thinking about that. We, I like my lettuce shredded when we do nachos. We have nachos this afternoon. Yeah. And You're lucky you got food. I'm wondering because I'm concerned. Like you can't shred lettuce and store it in a jar like we do. Maybe for like the day of. Yeah. But I think it goes bad pasture, so I think that actually I think works really well. Then that's what we have to do. We just have to shred. All right, that. All right, we got some ketchup. Yeah. Bought from the store and transferred to this fun jar. Are you serious? No, this is homemade. It's gonna smack you. This is homemade transferred to the store bought jar. <laughs> we'll make mustard one day. I'm really excited about making mustards. And we do now get our mustard from Azure, but I still have a number of Rye Market bottles left over, so. Pickles if you want them. 
Um, These are our bread and butter pickles that are amazing. Do you want any mayo? No. No. All right, let her rip. Let us know what you That's think. Okay. It's just make eat it. Eat it. You eat it. I got comments to respond to. I'm afraid. Tony is joining us. What's up, Tony? Hi, Tony. Miss you too, buddy. Is it Tony the driver, Tony? Tony, Tony the driver, Tony. Hi, Tony the driver. One of, it's been a long time. One, yeah, he says misses us on the route. Um, Brookish Homeschool says, yes, a European butter is delicious. Whoa. I'm sure it is. Go get get the camera. Get the get camera. Okay. Yes, we can do this. Whoa. Yeah, let's, let's get all up. Let's get all up in there. All right. Cheese burger taco. Awesome. This thing is a little bigger than what I um, remember. Before. All right. The the million dollar question really is: when you eat a taco, do you turn your head to the left or to the right? Yes. She says, um, "Down on my plate where my food goes." All right. I think we've done three comments and we're a half hour on this video. I know. Um. So we're gonna burn through some of these comments. I'm gonna do the comments while you eat that. All right, so Bookish, is home, uh, Bookish Homeschool says peanut butter is delicious. Yes. No, it won't let me order them. It says they will expire. Is it the peppers that you say are going to expire? That's, that might be what's going on. Tony says, so great meeting you guys. We're going to be sure it was great. Was great. Met some other people on routes as well. The Holler Homestead in North Carolina. Awesome. We'll check them out. Um, so, Tony, I wonder if you're no longer deserved. So, you eat some. Bring right. me Jolene, please. She needs to go to sleep. No, they, they, don't, they don't want to put her down. That's not true. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Okay, so the tortilla is definitely falling apart. Do you want some meat? Um. I think the meat could have been seasoned a little bit more. I think it's but it's really good. Amazing. Okay. Commission. Ah. Okay, one more thing. Yellowfin tuna is better and cheaper than the albacore. Albacore still has much more mercury in its fat. I did not know that. Thanks, Becca. I love it when people share some of that. That's helpful. Yeah. I'm wondering if Costco has it. Do you, in Alexandria 3736 says, do you have a referral I can use before I check out? When was that? That was 12 days ago. Um, I'll be sure to put that in the description of our videos in the future. Thank you for offering. I'm guessing that you've already Figured that out. Yeah. Um, there is, I think I did put the Azure link in the comment for this, or in the description for this video. Yes, Tony says he's a big taco and taquitos fan. Oh yeah, we, tacos, taquitos, trails, tequila. Yeah, it's all, yeah. So okay, me, you're making a mess. Yes. Awesome. Which one is Show me this uh, Becca says, okay, so Kevin, I love your sense of humor. You remind me of Michael Keaton in Dream Team. Watch it. I will watch it. Thank you. I've never heard of that. I have either. I, like Michael Keaton, he's got a soft spot in my heart. He did that uh, Multiplicity movie. Oh, that was just... Yes. Okay, and then Becca Scrap says, uh, okay, I like one more thing. The soft weight situation. I have that issue too. It's still... 16.50 for 25 pounds. The thing is, there's no way I can fit more in the house. It might reset all the garage. I like your idea about the black bin in the garage. It's not a great solution. We live in Seattle, so pretty chilly here, 40 to 70 most of the time. But lately, we've had summers, three to four weeks where we've had 90 plus degrees. So I'm concerned about the spoilage. I'm guessing you guys have more extreme weather than us. Yes, we do. Do you know how to tell if it's spoiled? Mm -hmm. Honestly. Forever. Yeah, it's pretty hard for it to. Yeah. Mylar bag, oxygen sealer, no light, no mice, no problem. Yeah. No. Um, no. I'd love to more about love to more about your. I'd love to know more about your plan. I was thinking about using two gallon bags and stacking them vertically in the bin. Do whatever works for you. 
We store our grain in the size of the container that we use inside of our everything. So if it's buckwheat, it goes in a half gallon jar. If it's hard red wheat, it goes in a gallon jar. You're showing the wrong part of it. I can't turn that. My arm is not do that. All right, I think my jiggle is finally doing good. Okay. Quiet on the set. Shh. Look at me. Hey, knuckleheads. Shh. Okay. Um, Beverly Mitchell says, I feel as yours, frozen fruits and vegetables are way better than Costco's in quality and flavor. I buy almost all my groceries from Azure, and a few items from Costco now, I just love Azure's quality with everything fresh, frozen can. However, I'm not feeling nearly as many, I'm not feeding as nearly as many as you are. I totally understand the choices you make. Thank you for the support and understanding of where we have to prioritize our budget and where we go if we don't do. Uh, Dana, Dana's some, uh, I didn't even. 3576 says, I can't eat bananas raw. I get so sick. It's okay, I'll eat them for you. Stomach pain and vomiting. I'm really sorry, that sounds miserable. But cook them and I can eat them. Something changes when you cook them, not sure, and they won't make me sick. It's probably something to do with the sugars. Same thing with tomatillos or tomatoes. I can't eat them raw, but can, but fresh cooked. Without going through the candy process, making me sick or something like that. Doctor told me it was changing the potassium levels. Oh, okay, potassium levels. Figured it was something to do with that. Penny Dryer says, are you required to market to other stores? No, and we love the freedom that we have. How does it make sense that someone sent you a letter to respond versus comment? There's 19 comments as I type this that would actually literally take me 15 minutes to match to respond to. Yes, there's videos with more and you don't respond to every single one, but say it takes too much time when you already have the saving time from editing. Very personal to ask viewers to answer questions instead of you. The shakiness is too much as well. Sorry about the shakiness. Totally understand. We're doing what we can without breaking some boundaries that we've put in place for our family. With regards to the comment thing... Do you want me to answer this one? I'm going to answer and I'm going to eat a taco. Okay. No. So, no, 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 so with the comment thing, it's more it's more than a time thing. It is the mental capacity. Um, the tortillas are falling apart. Of I'm going actually pork. going through and doing it, but it's also trying to do something that is sustainable long term. And I, it's not honestly like. Our goal is to strive for a more intimate, more valuable connection with people in a big picture that goes in real life, that goes here. And we believe that, group of nurses, we believe that the comments are great, but it was just one of the things that we needed to set aside in order to move forward. Is that, is there anything else? No, sure. Um, well, I'm on Rosa, it looks very good. Yes, it's, so good. it's very good. I wonder if you are telling me anything. Probably not, I'm going to get it off. Rosanna says, good evening, Comstock like Plan. What's up? Tony says, I love the label and packaging designs you have. You have me when you have the cookies. You guys are pretty crafty as well as bakery. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Wild Mountain says the tips to store the size is if the tips to store them in the size. If my daily pantry and your inventory system, inventory system has been so helpful, thank you for sharing. No problem. That like that is That's life gold. changing. Yes. And I don't think that I've ever heard that anywhere. Okay, you ready to check this out? This is why this is, I'm gonna do this as smooth as I can. <laughs> we have a few systems that we've implemented. One is the pantry. This is a, this is, this was a thing. Okay. Everything labeled, stored. There's some stuff going on down here, like an egg. 
Sorry, <laughs> I was playing with this earlier. Well, and that problem is gonna be solved. Yes, this right here, I threw this in here last night. That's totally me because I wanted to fill the apple cider vinegar thing in there and I didn't. Apple cider vinegar, that's the other one. We have like, I think eight now, eight pain points that need to get fixed in the food supply. And then for your refrigerator, <clears throat> this is super cool. Use meal baskets. One, breakfast, lunch, dinner. When you have an oddball like this, stack them up. And then you have using things, using things, eggs, all the leftovers go in a different refrigerator. Okay, let me just say that Kevin cleaned out the refrigerator today because it does not always look this way. I cleaned the refrigerator out on Tuesday. Really? Y'all. Yeah. Okay. Normally it doesn't look that good. Whatever. Oh, I thought maybe you were going to share the spice cabinet. Oh. <laughs> Not all, not all. Yep. Yeah. I go in here and it makes cooking, it makes cooking amazing. I know exactly where everything is. Tell me, what do you want? I won't even look at the sheet. What <laughs> spice do you want? What's your heart's desire? That parsley is twisted. And the top. Hey, I, 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 the top needs a little help. Yeah. Okay. It, g give me a spice. Um. Let's go with nutmeg. Oh. <laughs> right there. Okay. 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 I got three more comments here. You ready? Ready. This one says, "Oh my goodness, get off the broccoli already." <laughs> I think that we no, both probably went on and on and on about the broccoli. Then this person says, you talk too much. And then this person says, stop talking about so much unnecessary stuff and get to the point. So I'm sorry, it's live. Sometimes we ramble and we can edit that out. But I want to say in a loving way that one of the things about comments that I have learned is that they say so much more about the person leaving the comment than they do about who is being commented on. And, hold on, there's too much donating. Oh. I'm going to give you knuckle sandwiches if you don't stop. But there's taco, cheeseburger tacos ready if anybody wants to eat. Okay. All right, here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna put her down. I'm in, I'm in one. No, just hold on, I will. Here. She's not gonna go for it. There was something else that I wanted to say. Oh, remember that when, that's what I try to think about. When I did a comment on somebody's anything, I think about the fact that it's just a reflection of me, and it is not necessarily as much about the person that you're commenting on. Yeah. So, that is it for that video. You and have I think me. we're going to probably end this, I think, and maybe come back to the other video for another another video. Okay. Does that sound good? Where are you going to go? I think we're, how long has this been? It's been too long. Does that mean a dish taco? Hey, don't hit my trap on. Um, see it. Yeah, we're at 50 minutes. Yeah, it's time for us to stop. So we'll come back, and I think we'll probably make a habit of trying to answer at least some comments live. And yeah. Tony says it's like we're visiting you in person. Yes. See, people don't want us to go. So we gotta go. We gotta go. I need to go make this baby no, happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put her down. Okay. Cool. Well, Tony, well, thanks for joining us. Rosanna, Wild Mountain Rose, whatever else. Um, we hope you make the cheeseburger tacos. Everything you need is in the comment. Or, no. It's in the, it's in the description. description. Don't forget the season. Yes. Seasoning is important. All right. You have a great night. Yeah. Yeah.